are microtransactions and Treasure Hunter in particular going too far within RuneScape? Today's video tries to answer this and of course leave your own comments as to what you think about Treasure Hunter in the comment section down below. Microtransactions have been a big part of RuneScape for a long, long time and we've been seeing the increase in the amount of microtransaction content coming into the game and it seems like unless the content is somewhat monetized, it doesn't really get produced and I'm all for creating value for your own business because effectively Jagex is a business, they have to make money to be able to become profitable and obviously if they can grow the amount of money they're making, that's what they want to do. But when the focus turns away from producing great content to producing content that's going to just hopefully sell, it becomes very, very difficult for the player that's trying to play your game and not get involved in all of the extra off world kind of basis with the monetization of the game and that's where I think Jagex have gone slightly wrong with a lot of the content that they've been producing. I mean for example take this most recent Christmas event where you've not really had a proper Christmas event. Instead Jagex have thrown us a treasure hunter promotion that is wildly overpowered in terms of getting you both money and also the ability to earn a ridiculous amount of experience within the game and that is something that has also developed as the games come on is the ability to just basically pay your way to a level 99 becoming super super easy to get to level 99 with some of the microtransaction content within in the game and I'm all for making it easy for new players to be able to pick up the game that's been around for 10 years and get up to that high level content that they will want to be doing early on because some of the low level content was definitely dead within RuneScape 3. However, just trying to push people into microtransactions is not the way and hopefully the content down at the lower levels is going to get revised and increased amounts of activities that people can join in from the beginning so they can stick around on the game and hopefully join in with the great game that RuneScape is, especially uh, after all of this time it's been around. Microtransactions are a necessary evil in a lot of games, but that doesn't mean that Jagex have to abuse the amount that they're actually pushing within the game. And often, sometimes it's good to provide an event that has absolutely no monetization within it. However, with this Christmas event being pretty much much just a monetized version of the previous and prior events within the game being that essentially if you want to get any decent amount of Christmas wrapping paper you either have to buy keys or spend all of your oddments which require you to at least have membership to get any kind of real sufficient amount and or alternatively have been playing the game for years on end to be able to afford to do that. So I think that this is something that I'm not a fan of hopefully that they'll push out some more content that isn't monetized and yes we always have the bossing updates and the new content updates like that but when it comes to the events when it comes to the community stuff we don't want to be thrown loads and loads of microtransaction and I guess that that is my point of view from a player that's been playing for approximately like 14 years or something like that it's been a long long time uh, but definitely something I want to be seeing uh, kind of diverting away from because Jaggers have been moving in that direction whereby they're becoming more like a mobile game as opposed to the original game that it once was uh, as they develop uh, and go through this 20 years of being around as RuneScape. So hopefully we'll see some interesting changes away from what they're currently doing and I really do hope so. Of course, let me know what you think about the microtransactions and if they really are as bad as what I'm trying to make out and whether or not you should in fact spend your money on microtransactions which is something that yeah it will drastically improve the amount of experience and the kind of ease of getting into the game but they are very expensive for what they are and so yeah not something I'd recommend. Other than that I hope you join me in a couple more videos and if you want to check out what this treasure hunter promotion can actually get you check out this video on screen right now. Other than that I hope you join me there and subscribe for more content coming soon. Goodbye.